Right fellas, the first step to the hardcore easter egg is to find three circular items called spinning tops. And you can do this as soon as you're in the game this step. So there'll be three spinning tops that you need to find and pick up. And the best thing to do before you do this is open up the doors to the Riverside and to the pub. Because basically these spinning tops can spawn in the Riverside, the pub, the spawn area and the village. So here are all the locations that I know. There is one spawn location in the Riverside and it could spawn up here on this window ledge above the valves that you can turn. Another spawn location is actually just next to where we just looked. And you can actually see a spinning top up there in my game. So it's just inside the pub area. On to another spawn location now, and this one is in the spawn area. And it can spawn above this door on the side of this building here. And just next to that one is another spawn location. And you can also see another spinning top up there in my game. And it's just on that side of that building. And again in the spawn area, you can find another one up here on this roof. Another spawn location is in the village area near the drop into bunker. And it can spawn on this roof here. And on your way to the riverside, you'll find another spinning top on this ledge here. And you can also see a third spinning top in my game as well. On to our next location now. This one is back in the village on this window ledge here. It is basically above the toy shop window, a bit to the right. And another spawn location is in the courtyard on this roof ledge here. And lastly, a spinning top can also spawn here, which is near the riverside wall on this building right here. So these are all the spawn locations I know, and if you can't find any, just restart the game, and the spinning tops will spawn in different locations, and you should find them. So now you need to go find all three spinning tops in the locations I just showed you, and when you find them, you need to shoot them, and then pick them up. And overall, you need a total of three spinning tops. So here I go fellas, shooting all my three spinning tops, there'll be an orange one, there'll be a red one, and there'll be a green one, and when you've picked them all up, you can now take them to the toy shop window in the village. And when you come to the toy shop window, you want to press square to place all three spinning tops onto the wall. And when you've placed these onto the wall, they'll all be facing down. So to make this much easier to understand, you want to imagine a clock face on the three spinning tops. And that the arrow is pointing to the number six, just like on a clock. So now we need to go find some objects around the map that has a number and a colour on it. And this basically means that if you find a red object with the number 7 on, you'll be changing that red spinning top in the toy shop window to the number 7 position, just like on a clock. So the spawn locations for these are pretty random. Again, you'll be looking in the Riverside, Pub, Village and Spawn area for these objects. So on screen now are some locations where you want to be looking to try and find these objects. And basically, there are probably more spawn locations for these, but... You want to be looking through windows that zombies come through. You'll be looking at cracks through the walls, through pieces of wood, even through glass windows and stuff like that. So just look around the whole area of the riverside, the pub, uh, up near the courtyard as well actually. Also in the spawn area in the village. Just look through windows and eventually you'll come across the object that we're looking for. And what you're looking for is a ribbon with a number on. So now you know some locations of where to look. Overall, you want to find two of these ribbons. So as you've seen already, in my game, one of these ribbons spawned in this window here, which is just next to the road down to the riverside. So fellas, as you can see, the ribbon is yellow and has the number 7 on it. It is pretty hard to see as a number on the ribbon, but um, the best thing to do here is get up as close as you can to your TV screen. Just think of the Basilisk from Harry Potter, when he's up in Harry Potter's grill in the Chamber of Secrets, that kind of closeness to the screen. There we go, that's a fucking great example. Scroll down. So yeah, fellas, in my game, the ribbon was yellow and the number was seven. So now we go to the toy shop window and you want to change the arrow to where the number seven would be on a clock. So the ribbon was yellow, so all we do is change the yellow spinning top and input the number in and boom, that is that boss, fellas, it's that easy. So now we go find the last ribbon. And for me, this one was in a in a tough place to find, actually. So this is past the armor stand in the village. And you want to take a left up these stairs. And you need to shoot the window to see the ribbon. And we can see the color is red. And the number is 9. So again, we go back to the toy shop. And we input the number into the red spinning top. For me, it was 9. 
So all we do is change that number to the number 9 position on a clock. And boom fellas, that is both complete. So all you do now is forget about the spinning tops that you've just done. And you want to focus on the one that you've not touched. And for me, it was the green spinning top in my game. And all you do now is keep pressing square on this spinning top until a drawer opens up with a record inside. So it's really easy this one fellas because you don't need to go find a ribbon for this because if you just change the arrow to all the positions that it can go on, eventually it's going to work and the record is going to open up for you to pick up. So just like it's done in my game here, I've just spammed it and eventually it's opened up for me and you can pick up that record and that is that step done fellas.